welcome back to week five of the 2013 NFL season. I went three and four and one with my picks last week. Not bad, not great. We're gonna do something a little bit different. On my website, geonose.com, I have some tools that I, I like to use to help me with my picks. One in particular is called Who Will Win? And it takes 13 different categories and gives it a, a click to each of the teams who are winning in that category. And we're gonna use that a lot with my picks against the spread and also for the over-unders. And here they are. The first game we're going to look at has Kansas City going to Tennessee where the Titans are two and a half point dogs at home. According to my website, geonose.com in the tools section, I have the Chiefs as 10 to 3 favorites in the categories that I follow. They're actually 10, 2, and 1 as one of the categories is tied. There's a little bit of a bug in the system which always gives it, it to the home team. Nevertheless, Kansas City is, uh, is favored in 10 of the uh, 13 categories. You know, both teams have been very good with turnovers, plus 9 each. However, Jake Locker's out for Tennessee and he's having a very good year. In comes Ryan Fitzpatrick, who is a bit of a, a turnover machine, at least he was in Buffalo. That, that, that's going to be a little bit different here uh, for what uh, Tennessee has been used to the last couple of weeks. Also, Kansas City is number one in defense and points allowed. You know what? Let's lay the points. So take Kansas City minus two and a half. Our second game has New Orleans going to Chicago. That's a pick'em game right now. I have New Orleans favored in eight to five in the categories, but actually eight to three because two of them are tied. Uh, you know, both teams can score points. They're, they're in the top seven in offense, both in both of the teams are, that is. But New Orleans is number five in defense. And they, they Rob Ryan has done such a great job on, on, the, uh, on the Saints defense side. He might be a candidate for a coach of the year. Um, Chicago is allowing 28 and a half points against every game while New Orleans is only allowing 12.8. That's what, it's two touchdowns, even more than two touchdowns difference. So, you know what, let's lay the points. Well, actually, it's a pick'em game, so let's take New Orleans in that game. Their third game has Denver going to Dallas. Um, the Cowboys are seven and a half point dogs at home. I made a mistake last week of, of thinking that Denver might not cover a game. But look, they're just scoring too many points uh, to, to defend against. They're leading in nine of the 13 categories as well. They're averaging 45 points a game. You know, Denver's beaten every team by 16 points or more. Dallas has got two wins, but they, they've come against the 0-4 Giants and the 1-3 St. Louis Rams. You know what? Lay the points. Take Denver, minus 7.5. And, and the fourth game we're going to look at has Detroit going to Green Bay. The Packers are seven-point favorites at home. This is a little closer. The Packers are 7-6. to six. Uh, They have the 7-6 to six edge in the 13 things that I, I follow. But that might be a little bit too many points here. You know, uh, Reggie Bush has made all the difference in the world for Detroit. It, he's exactly what that offense needed. And their only loss this year, Detroit's only loss, came when he didn't play. The Lions were 0-6 last year in their division. They have learned how to beat teams in their own division. They beat my Vikings so far, and they trounced the, the Bears. I'm not saying they're going to win this game, but that's a lot of points for a divisional matchup. matchup. So let's take Detroit plus 7. follow Frank Gambler. He is very funny. Subscribe to his channel. I guarantee you, you'll get a, a big laugh and he's very good at prognosticating as well. All right, here are my over-under plays. Uh, I have another tool on geonose.com that uh, is what it will do. It will project what the computer says will be the over-under number and I'm going to take four of the ones that are the biggest discrepancies uh, according to what Vegas has. Game number one has New England going to Cincinnati. That number is 45. My website predicts that to be a 38 and a half points scored in that game. You know, both defenses are in the top 10 and um, both offenses are in the bottom 20. So let's take under 45. The second game has Carolina going to Arizona. The number is 42 and a half. My computer program projects 37 points. You know, Carolina's held two teams so far to single digits, including that shutout against the once powerful Giants offense here. That's uh, a lot of points for a 
for a, a defense that doesn't leave, allow very many points. So let's take under 42 and a half. The third game we're going to look at, we talked about it earlier, Detroit at Green Bay. That number is 53 and a half. The program projects 58 and a half. You know, Detroit, number four in points scored. Green Bay, number two, uh, I think with Reggie Bush back and playing, that should easily sail over. So let's take over 53 and a half. And the fourth game has Houston at San Francisco. The number is 42 and a half. My program projects 46 points in this game. Uh, you know, where's Houston's defense gone? This was a top outfit from last year. They've allowed 23 points or more in every one of their games. San Francisco's had the extra couple of days to even figure them out further. So you know what? Let's take over the 42 and a half. Here are my straight up plays. I'm going to stand on this side for once and let the pick scroll on, my, on the screen here. And we'll talk about teams that you might take if you're still alive in a suicide pool. Obviously, Denver is the first choice. They are just killing it on offense. Nobody can stop these guys. I've never seen Peyton Manning play so well. They're scoring 46 points a game. I don't think anyone can match them offensively. You probably would want to take them. If you're in a pool which doesn't allow you to take the same team twice and you've already burn your pick on Denver. You might want to consider taking St. Louis over Jacksonville. Uh, Blockman comes back for the Jaguars. It might not be enough though. And uh, Blaine Gabbard actually does better on the road than he does at home, but the Jaguars are as bad a team as I've ever seen. So you could take St. Louis. Kansas City might be a good option over Tennessee. However, it's a road game. I still might consider them. San Francisco's at home against a good squad, Houston, but they have the uh, extra couple of days to prepare for this. San Francisco might be a good pick. I would be, t be taking Atlanta over the New York Jets. I don't think the Falcons will lose two games in a row, and the Jets have a, a rookie quarterback, usually not a good recipe to win on the road. So my suicide pick will be the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, so those are my picks. Good luck to you. Remember to check out my website, geonose.com. And I hope you subscribe to my channel as well. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the section below. And also check out some of my other videos like how to win a suicide pool and my rankings for every week. Okay, for the Geo Knows channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.